Ask Reddit by Kerita. What is a good the bad guy wins movie? Upgrade. Upgrade it. The Usual Suspects. Kevin Spacey won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor for this movie, so the bad guy really did win something. Primal Fear. It's like we were dancing, Marty. Arlington Road. This should be top. Infinity War and Empire Strikes Back are not the ending of the story, and as we know, the bad guy eventually loses. This is one of the only movies where the bad guy wins, and that's it, the end. He doesn't die and win like in C7N. The bad is just fuck and trick the protagonist big time and win. Leaves you feeling almost angry, stunned even. Fallen, that movie was fucking awesome, great ending. Did I ever tell you about the time I almost died? SC7N, 7. John Doe. I visited your home this morning after you'd left. I tried to play husband. I tried to taste the life of a simple man. It didn't work out. Nightcrawler. Interesting thing about Nightcrawler is that the music was deliberately upbeat, life-affirming, and triumphant when Jillian Hall's character is doing the worst possible things, but it's because the choice was made that he is the hero in his own story. All his worst attributes he sees as his strengths. It's another reason that film works so well and adds to the weirdness of it. No Country for Old Men. Great film. Javier Bardem turned in a great performance. Cabin in the Woods. Well, the bad guy's actually loose, but the world ends as a result. It's one of my favorite twists on a horror movie ever. There will be blood. I am the third revelation. Nobody in that movie is the good guy, though. The Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. Not a lot of people like the movie for its supernatural elements. I, however thought it's a fantastic addition to an already controversial profession. Painted black at the end with the legendary quote is just chef's kiss. Megamind. What is the difference between a villain and a supervillain? Chinatown was gonna post this, but I said, forget it. Dia Horrible's sing-along blog is a personal favorite of mine. Bad Horse. Silence of the Lambs. Buffalo Bill is killed, but Lecter escapes to eat another day in the process. This blew up and I was not expecting it. Thanks. I can't remember who said it but if Hannibal Lecter was good at football we'd just tell the authorities he has a reading disorder is up there as one of my favorite one-liners. Inside Man with Clive Owen and Enzel. Fallen with Denzel and John Goodman. Azazel, T.I.E. I'm, is on my side, yes it is. Is he a bad guy though? He's a bank robber but the true villain is Arthur Case. Watchmen. Do it? Dan, I'm not a Republic serial villain. Do you seriously think I'd explain my masterstroke if there remained the slightest chance of you affecting the outcome? I did it 35 minutes ago. Skeleton Key. A very interesting movie. The ending, Hugh. Empire Strikes Back of course. And Revenge of the Sith. Gone Girl. Well done movie, absolutely hated it and will never watch it again. Made me so damn mad but I understand it did exactly what it was meant to. Rosemary's Baby. Gets my vote for best horror film of all time, that and The Exorcist. Two different kinds of horror, both outstanding. And who truly won in The Exorcist? I think it's 2-0, Satan. The Big Short. This is the real answer, because not only did the bad guys win, 
They did it in real life and we all fucking lost as a result. VVITCH Edit, it's pretty funny how some of us would join Black Philip. I mean once you die your soul is given to Satan for eternity. Upvote for Black Philip. Drag me to hell. I read once the entire movie is an allegory for eating disorders. It's been so long since I've seen it I'll have to give her a watch. Depending on your perspective, law abiding citizen. I can't stand watching that movie. Every time I hope Gerard Butler will win, and Jamie Foxx catches him every damn time. X-Men, First Class, 2011, I prefer. Magneto what follows is the most badass villain theme since Imperial March. I've been at the mercy of men just following orders never again. The Big Short. Infinity War. Robocop. Because they won long before the movie even starts. Upvote the big short. No one held accountable. The Godfather. A movie with no good guys at all. The only way would be Michael stays out of the family business. The Wicker Man. 70s version. I love this movie and hear me out on this one. It wasn't that the bad guys won. It's more like the protagonist didn't, but analyzing the film you can easily sympathize with the people from the island. This guy, with a holier than thou attitude, who pressures constantly about how his beliefs and his actions are right and how the whole culture of the island is fucked up comes as a foreigner and wants to give them moral lessons, while doing his police job, tbf to him. Lee's character is constantly telling him hey man, we respect your beliefs, but we got our own here. But the Mathurfica keeps preaching and preaching against the islanders' culture. For me, it is a well-deserved ending. Also, Christopher Lee is just immense in his role 10 stroke 10 movie. The Blair Witch Project. Do 12 monkeys count? I mean they didn't stop the bad guy in the end. No the plan was never to stop the virus being released, that had already happened. The plan was to obtain a pure sample of the virus, which the scientist on the plane was there to do. Midsommar if you treat the cult as the bad guy. The cult is definitely the villain of the story. The bad guys. Basically all the Halloween movies. Michael wins every single time except for Halloween ends which is a real absolute first TBH. Also the collector. Also every single Saw movie. Doesn't he get killed in most movies too? Sure he comes back, and the next movie always retcons the death saying he didn't really die, but he does get defeated in the movie itself. Jeepers Creepers for sure. Hereditary. Funny games. The original Austrian version counts to the most disturbing films I have ever seen. Brilliant though. Life. Not even a movie, just actual life. Ocean's Eleven. Those guys are all criminals after all. Likeable, but criminals. At least a good guy didn't lose. Swordfish. Hugh Jackman dancing and drinking wine while magic cubes assemble on his computer screen is permanently burned into my brain. Old boy. Infinity War. Serious question for anyone who's seen that movie more recently, did Thanos have a 50% chance of wiping himself out of existence when he did the snap? Fallen. Starship Troopers. It still baffles me that some people don't get that the humans are the bad guys. Neil Patrick Harris becomes more and more Nazified over the course of the movie until he's just wearing an SS uniform in the last scene. Hereditary and Sinister. Unforgiven. Eastwood's character is the bad guy. He killed women and children and everything that walked or crawled. He was a hired vigilante. Little Bill was the law. 
but he was also a belligerent asshole who beat a man to death and let another get away with cutting up a woman's face because she was a whore. He got what was coming whether he deserved it or not. Deserved ain't got nothing to do with it. The Last Samurai for sure. Valkyrie. Crazy to think that Hollywood didn't have to embellish much because those events actually happened in real life. 300 in Sin City, that Frank Miller's got a bleak outlet, also Brightburn. Why did the bad guys win in 300? It ends on Platia? Or were the Hellenes the bad guys? The Wolf of Wall Street, 